I've told many people that Slidell's the best kept secret in the South. It is truly a marvelous place to raise a family. It's got all the necessities and most of the amenities of a big city without the, most of the problems of a big city. And when you need something you don't have here, it's only 30 miles away. In addition to that, we have the best public school system in the state of Louisiana. And in fact, we have a very fine medical community. I live in Slidell because this city has more heart than any place I've ever been in my entire life. And I've been all over the world. It's a great place to live, but it's a tight community. It's the people in the community that make Slidell what it is. And it's that camaraderie and the friendships that you form of the people that live here is what makes the difference. We've got the railroad, we've got the water. We've got a couple of different things that I think uh, lends itself to quality of life issues. Here in East St. Tammany Parish, we have an excellent cultural arts division through our city of Slidell and through our, our, our parish in general. Our quality of life issues are very, very important to everybody in our city, and everybody works hard to make sure we keep and maintain that quality of life. The medical community has always trusted Slidell Memorial Hospital to take care of its patients. What we see now is the opportunity to even broaden the scope of services that we currently provide in cancer care to include such things as patient navigation, uh, additional services, expanded surgical services. So we're building upon a very strong platform. The idea of building a uh, cancer center for Slide Evel Memorial Hospital came to be. A committee gathered together, and that committee flew to many parts of the United States, and they saw lots of different cancer centers, lots of different programs, lots of different architecture. Well, that group took the cream of the crop of those cancer centers and even made it better and developed this cancer center based upon elements of those cancer centers. When we were designing the center, one of the things that was very, very important was what is the psychological impact of walking into a building like that? Because I can tell you that most people would never want to walk into that building. I mean, who would? The way that the atrium in the foyer has been designed was meant to inspire confidence and comfort. It's amazing, it's exciting, it's dynamic. It's got this sloped, curved roof over the atrium space. Yet it's welcoming and inviting at the same time. As you can see here, the scaffolding, there's going to be a glass covered canopy where patients can drive under and be dropped off to enter the building. The super level floor is implemented in the CT simulation rooms and the two linear accelerator vaults represented a greater challenge for the design and construction team. They have to be super flat for the tolerances required for the specialized equipment and they have been tested by an independent testing agency. We were there from day zero and being there from day zero helped us integrate the things that we know that we need uh, being working in cancer care on a daily basis. Our vision is, is that we'll have uh, physicians working together and to the maximum extent that we can bring the physicians and other caregivers to the patient as opposed to the patient having to go various places to physicians. The beauty of having a cancer center is that everybody would be close and that they would be able to discuss the patient care much more freely. This is a building that's going to bring a lot of people together for Slidell Memorial Hospital and the treatment that they'll be able to do in this building will be a, a great benefit to this community. One of the things that the, uh, our cancer program and the Cancer Center is, is going to have that we've not had before and I think no one has had in the area is the concept of a navigator. Patient navigation works to eliminate barriers in the healthcare system. Every patient will receive timely diagnosis and treatment. I will follow the patient through the entire process of the healthcare continuum. And basically, a navigator is the patient's shepherd, if you will. They, they guide that patient through their treatment, making sure they get their appointments, making sure they follow up with their, with their scheduled test. Patient navigation is going to give them a lifeline, a phone number that they can call so that they can 
speak to a knowledgeable person about cancer care, about what the next step's going to be. We'll have state-of-the-art technology, we'll have compassionate staff, and people will be able to be close to their families and receive high-quality cancer care from the physicians that they know. The cancer journey's a long one, and we get to know these patients. They come in daily for weeks and months, and you become part of their family. And it's having that connection with the patient that makes a difference, and it makes them comfortable that they want to come back and get their treatment and not go anywhere else. And that's what we do. We feel as a board we have to have a one-stop hospital with all the specialties, all the necessary equipment needed uh, to give to the community so in return we can take care of their medical needs. We are surveyed every three years and that is by the Commission of Cancer of the American College of Surgeons. They're trying to enhance the education of the physicians and the community. What makes a good community cancer program work is the fact that it is community. It's We all live here, we all work here, we understand our patients and our families and again we've got the good technology but we've also got fantastic people working together for the, for the best we can do for our patients. Our community hospital has always been here for us and it, it's been uh, you know there in the front lines all along. It has become part of our city. It's become something our citizens expect, and it is, a, it is a huge advantage, in my opinion, to have a community-owned hospital. This facility is a culmination of uh, a lot of effort and thought and hard work on a lot of people in the community. The benefit to the patient of a regional cancer center is the comprehensive, coordinated care that we will be able to offer the patient, bringing our services together under one roof, um, providing additional services that we do not offer now. You will have the doctors and the other ancillary personnel to be able to discuss the cases face to face. When it comes to getting treatment for cancer, you know, you want to know this is it, this is the right place. And I think that when you walk through the doors of, of our cancer center here in Slidell, I think you're gonna have that.